Are we on? We're, we're on. Oh, okay. Hey, get, good afternoon again. My name is Quing Lee. I'm uh, with my good friend Tom Brennan. We're the Chicago Horn Loud Speaker guys. Uh, today is April 16th, I guess. Yeah. So in this episode, we're going to wrap up uh, all the work that we've done for the Super Santana. Because I think we've gone as far as we can. And moreover, I think the whole, this whole thing is more or less triggered by the, the reacquisition of the Altec 604E by Tom. I mean, that that is now his reference speaker. So he needs space in his, his apartment. And I uh, hate to admit it, but I think, you know, I have to agree with you that we've gone as far as we can with, with the Santana. So you want to yeah. wanna wrap it up for us, Tom? As far as practical. Yeah. yeah. Uh, to recap, you know, our, our, our idea with the Santana was this speaker is fairly inexpensive out there. Yeah, yeah. We found four or five hundred dollars a yep. pair. Less than five hundred bucks a pair. And has a terrific woofer. Yep. Uh, a wide range uh, 420A woofer uh, combined with a mediocre tweeter. And and so what we found, uh, Quinn found that by putting a choke on at 3,500 cycles and not letting the driver, the 420A run full range and improve the sound. And then uh, I went looking for tweeters and I found a ScanSpeak uh, horn tweeter, which is sold at Matasound. Yep. And it's not a compression driver, but it's a it's a horn loaded dome. Mm -hmm. And it, that, that fit right in the hole where the CTS tweeter was. And with a simple capacitor on that and a uh, coil on the woofer, it came out with a really good sounding speaker. And yep. It, it, it matches an output, didn't need any L pads or yeah. anything, didn't need any EQ, nice response. Yeah. Uh, good highs and excellent sound. That was amazing, actually. No no, no padding needed on yeah. that tweeter. Yeah. So. And you have a really, really good speaker, and you get that, that magic Altec mid range, mid -range which, yeah. is, which is really, you know, the thing with Altec, I think it's the mid range more than anything else. Hey, Tom, in fairness to Altep engineers back then, right, that, that tweeter that came with the Santana was widely used. Oh, it was. A lot of speakers. A lot of speakers. People, yeah, a lot of people were using it. Yeah, I think uh, Altep used the same speaker in the Madrid, which is basically the same as the Santana. I don't understand why the Madrid people ask for so much more money. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. They wanted to change the style or something. Yeah. But Some anyway. The counter said, oh, you know. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, but, but yeah, the Altec engineers probably were not real keen on that CTS tweeter, but yeah. they were probably getting orders from above. Yep, yep. You but know. Yeah, it was a uh, widely used in Pioneers and Morans and other Altec speakers. So anyway, yeah, it was used in a lot of speakers. So that's the right linear used it. Yep. Scan speak is uh, that scan speak tweeter was really, uh, really a good find. Yeah, and that's it. You can buy those at Matasound. For like fifty bucks or 50 whatever, bucks, it something like yeah. that. Forty-four bucks is cheap, you know, and it's a it's a very high quality driver, and it's made in Denmark. Yep, it's made yep. in high wage country. Yeah. Now the second uh, grade two the Super Duper Santana came when we used a compression driver for the tweeter, and we we uh, found a driver the SB Acoustics. Yeah. 40, Rollo, Rollo, 44, well, it's going to show you right now, you know, yeah. there'll be a picture of it. And this is an excellent, excellent uh, compression driver for mid-range and tweeter. And we use that with a uh, B and C horn. Yeah. And the B and C horn comes from Parts Express. Yeah. And the compression driver, the SB Audience compression driver, also comes from Madison. Yeah. Now, using these at 3,500 cycles, uh, I think I used the same capacitor. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I had to do a little uh, EQing. EQing. And so I would recommend if you go to this, you get a Wim Ultra, which everybody should have anyway. It's, it's a great device, and, and you can use the, the uh, digital sound processing in it to uh, EQ the driver some to, to bring them in balance and to flatten it. And uh, that sounds better. That sounds, that sounds yeah. better. Now this will fit in 
I didn't do it, but it'll fit in the cabinet. You would have to open have to up, the, open hole. up the front baffle, yeah. It, but it will fit. Open up the hole for your tweeter and it'll fit. Yep. Uh, we we messed around with a lot of things sitting on top of the speaker, like an Altec driver on an Altec horn, and I tried JBL drivers on, on JBL horns, and we we did the uh, S and V on the Altec horn, and yep. I even used the uh, the Altec five eleven horn. Yeah. But you know we want to keep it. Where this is a nice looking cabinet. Yep. With a with a slate top, and so if you want to go to the Super duper, then you would go with the SB uh, acoustic driver and the BNC horn. Yeah, and the and the other options that Tom and I play with, those are too hard to find, and and you don't know the history of the parts that you find out there. So we're we're hesitant in recommending that pair. The SB acoustics and the BNC horn is something you can buy off the shelf, and you know there's a consistent level of quality there. You don't have to worry about finding diaphragms on the Altep compression drivers that you. You, uh, you happen to run the quad. I mean, Tom ended up putting radiant diaphragms in his yeah. Altec driver. So, yeah. yeah, you know, by the time you do all that, you know, we're back to the no heresy argument again. You end up spending <laughs> 500 bucks to, to address, you know, 150, 200 for the horn and another three, four hundred dollars for the compression drivers. And now you're over a grand. So, uh, yeah, that, I don't think, if you already have the parts, obviously go hawk wild, but for yeah. a all in one box where you can want it to look nice and your wife is not in your case. I think the BNC and the SB Acoustics. And the, and the SB Acoustics uh, is excellent uh, performance and it's yeah. cheap. It's like yeah. $70. Didn't it's, they tell us a cheaper one that's coming out with Expona? Yeah. Like a $50 model? Yeah. Yeah, like a one inch uh, yeah. diaphragm. You know what? We're going to try that one when it comes out on my Santana's. Okay. okay yeah. I, I've learned quite a bit from this whole exercise, and I have a set of Santana's myself. I know Tom is pretty much, he wants to get rid of his and, and use his 604s. But uh, yeah, and I, I get it. The 604s way better. Also costs two and a half times more. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. you get what you pay for in this particular case. Not not always the case in audio file circles. But uh, yeah, we are. Uh, we say goodbye to the Santana for now. For now. When uh, SB comes up with some new stuff, we'll see. We'll, we'll use mine as the uh, guinea pig next time. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Signing off, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We're up to almost 1,300 subscribers. And uh, if you guys like our videos, subscribe to videos, it helps YouTube distribute. What? Or recommend our videos to uh, to other audio files. So yeah. we appreciate it. And we're on the lookout for things to uh, to go listen to and highlight. So oh yeah, yeah. If you're yeah. in the, the area around Chicago, yep. Michigan, Wisconsin, so forth, and they have an Edgar Horn system. Oh no, yeah, no, absolutely. We, we, want, uh, we want to hear an Edgar Horn system. We wanted to uh, in the future episode highlight the contributions of Dr. Bruce Edgar and how he basically resurrected. Uh, the modern horn system, right? I don't think the track tricks flare would be where it is without his work. So we wanted to give credit where credit's due to Dr. Bruce Edgar. And if anybody in the Midwest area, Indiana, Michigan, Wisconsin, Iowa, Iowa, and you can Ohio, <laughs> come on, man. Can talk. Anyway, if we can get to you and you got a, a Edgar horn system, we, we would like to come and do an episode yeah. on your system. So, Absolutely. anyway. Enjoy.